Okay, let's talk to uh, Harold the H. Ark, 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 Ark. Sorry, you were supposed to th- uh, point to me. Harold the H. Ark, Ark, Ark. He Cox, going to tell us about a story about Queensland's oldest building made by convicts, convicts in 1929. How are you, Harold? Uh, very well, Danny. Yeah, it's the com- commissariat store that was built by convicts in Brisbane in 1829. 18. I, I older, know the yeah. building. It's still there. That's right. It's the oldest inhabitable building in Queensland. And the only one older is the one up the hill, that windmill up the hill. All right. And that was just a year older. Wow. I'm glad we kept it. Joe knocked every stinking thing down when he was in charge. Oh, well, the commissariat, it's a beautiful three-story stone building that it's right next to the new Queen's Wharf development. So neither one of those things will get knocked down for a while, I'd say. Well, tell us the story. Yeah, the commissariat, well... It's got bars on the windows to stop convicts breaking in to steal the food that was stored there. This is back in 1829. Mm. It was constructed by the orders of Captain Patrick Logan. Mm. Now, he was the commandant of the Moreton Bay Penal Settlement at the time. He was a bludgeon, too. Well, Logan, he did hand out some harsh harsh punishment and discipline Mm. to the convicts, but he was also a prolific explorer. Right. Now, landmarks everywhere are named after him. Places like Logan City, Logan Motorway, Logan Road, Logan River, Logan Creek, Logan Home and Logan Lee. There's even a can and plaque dedicated to him in Esk. He was also the first European to discover the location of what would become Ipswich today. He was the first one here. Wow. He's considered by some to be the actual founder of Queensland. Mm. Now, I'm a member of the Royal Historical Society of Queensland, mm. and I was at the commissariat store last Sunday. Mm. We, we have our headquarters there, yeah. and since the society was founded in 1913, mm. been doing a fantastic job of promoting Queensland history. Mm. Now, at the commissariat, you can see real convict iron chains there and all sorts of fascinating stuff. Yeah. At, at the front door, there's an old hall stand that once belonged to relatives of the Snelling family who I've told you about before. Yes. They were owners of the house Dover Court and they had a world champion auctioneer here in Ipswich. Now, when you go to the commissariat, yeah. try to be there on the hour, yeah. hopefully at midday, yeah. so that you can hear the beautiful clock chimes sounding exactly as they have for the last 220 years. Wow. That's because there's an old 1810 grandfather clock that's there. Mm. There's also the gallows beam from the old Boggo Road Jail. Mm. Now, from 1883 until the last hanging in 1913, mm. there were 42 people executed from that beam. Wow. But guess what, Danny? What? Not a, not a single one of them was from Ipswich, oh. <laughs> <laughs> which you might have been surprised about. But there were sentences handed out, death sentences handed out in Ipswich, like mm. in 1905 for the last woman sentenced to death. Mm. But those sentences were all committed. So Ipswich is clean in that regard. But mm. if you go to the commissariat, make sure you also go to the ground floor Mm. and quietly stroll outside. Mm. From there, yeah. look straight across the river yeah. to where the new Queen's Wharf footbridge will take you. Yeah. That's exactly where some convicts looked from the commissariat mm. at around midday on Sunday the 17th of October, 1830. <laughs> and what they saw then what? was Captain Logan on horseback what? on the far side of the river. He was beckoning to them to come over. They took a punt from the original Victoria Wharf, but as they neared the bank, Mm -hmm. the figure of Captain Logan disappeared. What they saw could only have been one thing, and that's Logan's ghost haunting the convicts in death, just like he had done in life. And that's because Logan, not long before they saw him, He'd actually lost his life some 70 miles west of there. You see, he'd been murdered by Aboriginals. But, Danny, do you know where Captain Logan was killed? No, but I'd like to know where. Yeah, it was right here while exploring the district of Ipswich. Mm. And there's even reports of Logan's ghost being seen here today. So, Danny, there's Ipswich history out there everywhere you go, including... 
at Queensland's oldest building, Commissariat Store of 1829. Brilliant. Yeah, tell me, can we visit that on a Sunday, can we? You can visit the Commissariat Store on most days. It is open. Oh. Uh, there is an entrance fee because it goes to support the building and the historical society. Mm, but the last ghosts. weekend... It, mm. Yeah, well, you've got to go see the things there and think about the deaths on that Boggo Road uh, hangman's beam and across the river. Uh, to where Logan's ghost was seen from from the banks at, uh, at the commissariat. So, yeah, you can go there. Uh, it, it's open. There is a small entrance fee to help support it. But on Brisbane Open House, that's what was on last weekend, you can get in there for free. So once a year you can get in there for free, but you can go there any time. It's a fantastic place. Oh, look, we should learn a bit more about our city. I'm going to go and have a look. I'm fascinated. Now, how do we find out these stories? Where do we find them? Yeah, go to historyoutthere.com. I'll be posting this story first thing in the morning and some great photos uh, and original artwork too that I'll be posting, historyoutthere.com. Australia's greatest researcher, Australia's greatest storyteller, his name is Harold the H. Hawk, 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 Peacock on West Premier Radio.